Yo, what are you guys telling me is H Z here. Today I'm just gonna show you how to make samples for 808 Mellow, Ty and Rixon. So let's get straight into it. Alright, before I break down the sample, I'm literally just gonna play what the final sample sounds like. So here it is. So the first thing I did was I added this lead. It was it was it's a one shot from um, Shoes Chico kit. It's a cold one shot kit. Probably one of the coldest I've ever seen. But here's what it sounds like without any mixing. Yeah, that it sounds like this. And then I mixed it. And now it sounds like this. All I did was literally I added an EQ, cut this this part because the frequencies were annoying me, they pissed me off, and then I cut um, highs, lows, after I added reverb, you already know, I spammed this like a hundred times, and then after this I added a little RC20, just a whole lot of distort, and I cut a lot of frequencies, and when I had a slight delay, I just felt like it, and then I added this Panjimit 2 with the bass ducking pre um, preset, just to make it sound cold. And the way I literally structured this was literally this, and then this is like a B Tech triad. This is a B Tech triad. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. And then I literally pull pull this down, and then put it back up, pull it down. Simple chords, you feel me? Because in UK drill, a lot of chords are repetitive, repetitive, and that's what artists like. So you dig. Anyways, um, the next thing I did was I added this. No, no, I didn't, actually. No, I added this, this, um, this, uh, what is it? <laughs> oh my god. Um, this, uh, strings, full ensemble, I'd say. And this is from Nucleus, the orchestral chord. The orchestra, <laughs> the orco, oh my god, I'm not gonna say it. But, um, this contact library on here, right here, one of the best ever. But, anyways, I just used this, um, I just made a top line melody, and this is what it sounds like. Literally used the root note, pulled it up, pulled it back down. Root note, down, up, down, down. Just to give it a little variation, and I literally added an EQ, just cover the lows. And and then I added a reverb, RC20, and then some added to vinyl, and just left the default. It just sounds cold, in it? And then the next thing I did was literally, this is just the ambience part, I added this, um... Same thing, I think. I think it was the strings, yeah. Same thing. But I just say it's a violin, but I literally just did a B Tech triad. Same thing. That's what it sounds like. And yeah, this is what it literally sounds like without effects. This, it it sounds terrible. There's too much, there's too much to that melody, so I literally just did my thing, added my source, sounds a lot better. And the next thing I did was, I added this choir, I think it's just called Full, yeah. I like using ensemble, it feels just full and beautiful, and this is, I just, I literally did the most simple choir pattern. And I literally added the same effects instead. I just cut the highs too. Reverb, RC20, Isotope. You already know how I'm rocking. And then next, I added some sick, some sick like texture. You can call it a texture. Is this pluck from I think cheat um shoes cheat code again? And I literally reversed it, cut this look, cut the like the quiet part, and it sounds like this. 
And then if you if you literally layer it with the melody, it sounds like it's beautiful. And if you're trying to make like Q beats esque samples, I'd say use this a lot because I think Q beats used it, uses this a lot, and a lot of great samples use a, a lot. Of, <laughs> I'm not gonna speak anymore. But um, after that, I added a soft piano from Labs, free VST, sick VST. Like, like piano sounds beautiful, and I literally just added a simple chord progression. And yeah, before the sound was like this, very dull and dry. So I had to add simple EQ, cut a lot of the um, highs, cut the lows, reverbed it. You already know, and RC20 this, and then I added this um, wild control by GHZ. It's just a bit of detuning. I guess it's not gonna load up. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, I just added a little detune. That's pretty much it for that, and I think yeah, that's the whole melody pretty much. So what I did, what I like to do when I layer it is just a, oh my god, uh, I like to just use the the main melody, and then add everything, and then just like stem it out, and then this is what it sounded like before like I did my other things. But yeah, here it is. <laughs> Clicking, clicking record or R bam and then and then pitch this down by 100 cents by putting the master was cassette uh, it's not gonna, I put on home put the static on minus 70 minus 40 off and then I added RT20 the isotope vinyl and then this is what it sounds like So you make samples for A8 Mellow, Rick's and Entire. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, comment, subscribe, do your thing, you feel me, and I'm heading out. Peace.